As with breaking news, I'm Caitlin Monty and Senate Bill 10 has been killed. It is not going to move through any further. Uh, Representative Japs like Bumble, which is based in Austin, Texas, the governor is about to sign a bill to make it illegal in Texas for someone to send naked pictures if you didn't ask for them. Early. A four year old watched her three year old sister die run over by her dad's car. Fort Bend deputies are not expecting to charge dad, though. They say he was trying to turn on the air and cool the car in the driveway. So he went to push the push button start. and You have to put your foot on the brake to turn the car on. And when he did that, somehow the car went into reverse and ended up crushing her. The Armstrong trial will take two this fall with Antonio Armstrong Jr. getting a mistrial this spring after being accused of killing his mom and former pro football playing dad. Since White House lawyer Don McGahn followed the Trump administration's suggestion that he not show for his subpoena today, Democrats have a meeting tomorrow scheduled to discuss if impeachment is perhaps in order for the president. Here's a quick check in of the fallout in D.C. Also, Congress got a late day briefing on Iran. Rebels backed by Iran bombed Western linked entities today, but the U.S. hasn't struck back yet. We still have our ships and planes, though, at the ready. A guy walked up to an unmarked police car asking for change and the detective shot him thinking he had a gun. Turns out he didn't. Luckily, he survived. But the family is saying he was mentally disabled and that detectives now on desk duty while this is being investigated in Philly. And that is the rundown. If you have thoughts, you know, you can always tweet me. I'm always checking during the break. Speaking of the hashtag uh, when I can't sleep is trending tonight. So that's going to be our final thought. We'll share examples. I'll share mine. Coco will share one. If you have one, tag me in your tweet. I'll check during the show and try to share yours too. Still ahead, we're going to play a round of was that fake and our Coco Dominguez making sure that you absolutely have plans for Memorial Day because it looks like it's going to be lovely weather. Yes, it is. Caitlin, we are your station for fun. And if you don't have plans for Memorial Day weekend just yet, don't stress. We've got you covered. So the raft is going to be on the inside of that yeah, somehow, yeah, swishing us around. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. Here's a fabulous ride to be right on. Let's go see some dolphins. In the Sun series. Hey, we got to have a good time, too. And all this coming up and more a little bit later on in the show. Stick with us. Time for Was That Fake, where you can send us stories that smell a little bit off and we will check the facts. First, we start by talking about 5G, which has come to Houston first out of all cities. Do workers have to wear hazmat suits to install 5G cell towers? Out the image appears to have originated on an Instagram page that's known for some somewhat questionable science. A lot of anti-vaccination posts and there are plenty of pictures of people not in hazmat suits working on 5G towers. So doesn't since we started this segment, we have had no shortage of fake news to fight. Oxford University's study just found that junk news still travels faster and farther than information from legitimate news sources when it comes to social media. So in Finland, they're helping kids wise up. We all know someone who could probably use some media literacy lessons. So I've tweeted a really great link with details from Common Sense org which generally works with young people to help them with digital media but some great advice that you might want to pass along to someone you know you can find me at Caitlin Monty on Twitter now our dr. Jim hates fake news and misinformation particularly uh. when it comes to weather because it happens a lot yeah I would add one more thing to the list and yep. that's how to recognize true research which is peer-reviewed research and publicized right not a theory or a hypothesis or a study of 20 people or a headline from a social media page. Yeah, none of that counts at all as research. I'm glad Sorry. we have you, Jim. Uh, anyway, but yeah, that, that's a good idea. Our Coco Dominguez is making sure you're going to have some fun in the sun to start summer, exploring some of the best places to go and cool off. Yeah, so we've had Splashtown in the city for a while, but now it's Six Flags Hurricane Harbor Splashtown. So with the big new name comes a whole bunch of perks. First stop, Six Flags Hurricane Harbor. Especially in the summer, you'll be able to preserve them online. Oh, yeah. You can get a little shade. Oh, yeah, for sure. You can hang out. And then also with your um, reserved area, with the shaded area or the cabanas oh, as part okay. of your package. So a cabana boy. There's definitely, uh, like, a this is us supervising. Yeah. <laughs> the wave pool is great. It's going to be on the inside of that yeah. somehow, yeah. swishing yeah. us around. I can't wait. Yeah. Don't pull them in. Don't pull them in at all. That's how you smile, like that's how people flip. Yeah, that's how people mess up. I couldn't put it off any longer. It was time to go for it. At 
least I didn't flip. Not yet, anyway. When you're ready to get away from it all, you can retreat back. How sweet are those cabanas? I can see Isaiah Carey throwing a party on one of those double Yes, they fit up to 20 people. And just side note, the only way to get off that surfboard is to flip off. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to take us to a different place every night this week? Every night this week, something involving the water, getting you ready for Memorial Day weekend. Here's a sneak peek. This is the Bayside Dolphin Tour. Let's go see some dolphins. as excited as any been seeing, seeing all those dolphins. So yeah, dolphins in Galveston. Who knew? Who knew? Well, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you do, but I haven't gotten to see them yet. So I'm that was my first that. time, honestly, and I'm from Houston. All right, so we'll check that out tomorrow night. Up next for us, we're gonna have a round of I Wish I Was Kidding. We call this segment I Wish I Was Kidding for real news stories that kind of just leave you shaking your head. First, I wish I was kidding, but some next Ben Carson tweeted a picture with a box of Oreos after this happened in front of Congress. So is those Oreo those Thins, the coffee ones, those new flavors, the bonus points for that. Well, coming up on The Factor at 1030, a mayor is looking to pay criminals to get out of his town. We're going to talk about that. Also, we have the legendary Lil Flip performing live on The Factor Uncensored as well, coming up at 1030. All right, and up next, we have our final thought of the night. What do you do when you can't fall asleep? All right, tonight for our final thought, we're sharing a trending hashtag that has to do with what people do when they can't sleep. So here's an example from Psych. Oh, <laughs> just turn on Netflix. <laughs> eh, that works. All yeah. right, I, we're out of time. I'll share mine on Twitter. <laughs> I'll see you there. But the Isaiah Factor Uncensored begins right now, so don't go away. And we'll see you tomorrow night. One.